Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is mathematics. In this video, we want to look at this question coming from 2023 GCE paper 1 and it was question number 18. The question reads, Z varies inversely as the square of x and directly as y and z is equal to 6 when x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 27 find the first part value of k which is the constant of variation b value of z when y is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 2 c values of x when y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 1 well the topic is called variation okay now we have different types of variation we have direct variation we have inversely we have joint variation and partial so looking at this question it's a combination of inverse and direct variation how do you go about it the first thing that you need to understand is variation there is this translation that you have to do from this statement up to this end this must be translated from the sentence form to mathematical language okay that is the translation so be careful and pay attention so that you learn the way I'll be able to translate. Let's start. Z. Are you seeing that? So you write. So here solutions. Z. Write Z. That's the first thing. We are following. Varies. You change this word. Varies or when they say varies, proportion, you change this word to this symbol varies have you seen that you put that symbol so z varies z varies inversely this way you change inversely it means one over that is it inversely if it was if this one was the first one here if it was z varies directly you could have just written without one over because inverse it means down here okay so z varies inversely z varies inversely as what the square of x so what is this square of x it means this that is square of x so square of x means this that's the same as saying x squared so z values inversely as square of x where are we we've reached here and so we can put times and directly so directly there is nothing like one over we are going to write here direct as what y as y right y there direct as y as y and Z now figures us. So this is where the translation will end. Have you seen? The next is again to get rid of this variation symbol. So you are going to say Z. So here on the variation symbol, I'm going to remove that because I need equal sign. So this variation symbol that you are seeing produces two mathematical signs and these are equals and k so where there is this always replace these two equals and k where k is the constant of variation so i'm going to replace where there is this i'll remove this and put these two so z where there is this put these two equals and k then copy everything that you have this side which is one so we can say one 
over x squared multiplied by y. Have you seen? The next step, you now write this nicely. This is z equals, when we multiply k times 1 times y, because this y here is the numerator, meaning over 1 here. So k times 1 times y, we are going to have ky over, down here we have x squared. Have you seen where we are? So here, z is equal to ky over x squared. This is now the equation that we are going to use involving k. So now, the first step is to get rid of, or is to find the value of k, which is the constant of variation. How do we find this value of k? You use the values that you've been given in the question. Start substituting. What is z? They are saying, and z is equal to 6. Well, so where the z put 6 here is equal to x is equal to negative 3. So k times, what is my y? 27 over x here, negative 3 squared. So put it in brackets. So this one now is going to allow us to find the value of k. Further, I'll say 6 because k times 27 is 27k over the negative 3 squared, that is negative 3 times negative 3. So I'm going to get 9. Here, I'm going to get 9. Over 1, cross multiply at this point. When you have equal sign here, a fraction here, a fraction here, cross multiply. 1 times 27k, it is 27k. Because 6 times 9 is uh, 54. To remain with k, divide by 27, both sides. Cancel this. k is equal to, how many 27s are in 54? That will be 2. So k is 2. You have answered the first part. The constant of variation is 2. So our k is 2. Immediately when you find the value of k, before you can attempt b and c, substitute in here this equation there so that you find the equation connecting this variation so now it will look like this z so i'm substituting where there is k now i will be able to put two so z so i'll be able to write it here now to answer b to answer b so i need first of all to write the equation the equation will be z equals k here is 2 so 2y like this over x squared x squared so this is now the equation connecting this variation sometimes they can ask you to find the equation connecting uh, the variation this is the equation when they say you find the equation connecting this variation this is now the equation which will be used to find B and C. It is this equation. So now, having this equation, let's now find B. We start substituting. Find the value of Z. We want to find the value of Z here. For us to find the value of Z, we need Y and X. What are they saying? When Y is equal to negative 6. So we are saying Z is equal to 2. Y here they are saying we put negative 6 negative 6 like this over z here there's i mean x here they are saying negative 2 so we are going to say negative 2 here remember it's a squared so square our z will be equal to 2 times negative 6 that will be negative 12 over down here we're going to have negative 2 times negative 2 negative 2 times negative 2 the answer is positive 4 so we have 4 here z will now be equal to how many 4's are in 12 
that will be 3. Remember there is a negative here, negative 3. So this is the answer to the second part. Second part here. Third part, C. We have to find the values, values is S here, of X. When Y is equal to 8 and Z is equal to 1. Again, get the equation connecting. Equation is Z is equal to 2Y over X squared. What are we finding? We're finding the values of who? X here. We have to be given Z and Y. What is Z? We are saying when Y is equal to this, Z is equal to 1. So here 1 is equal to 2 times Y is 8 here over X squared. Then we are going to say 1 is equal to 2 times 8 will give us 16 over x squared like this. Then we are going to divide by 1 cross multiply. 1 times x squared, this will give us x squared equals 1 times 16, 16. To find the value of x when we have a square here, you introduce a square root on both sides. So square root here, square root here. Cancel this. X will be equal to square root of 16 will produce two answers. Values will produce two answers. And these two answers will be positive or negative. Ooh, four. Are you seeing? So just to say, therefore, X is equal to four or X is equal to negative four. So these are the values. This is the way the question on variation of this nature should be answered. So, where exactly should you be able to be very careful is the translation here. Very, you have to be very careful. Sometimes they can start with this. Z varies directly, you write here, as Y, you write here as y, direct, just here. z varies direct as y and times inversely 1 over as the square of x. So it can be like that if they are to start with this. So don't get confused when you are translating. Be very careful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share the video so that others can also benefit. Follow me on Facebook, Introductory Learning, on TikTok, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I value your support. Thank you.